to be here, so I think I'm going to get started. So first of all, welcome guys and thanks for joining on this Monday morning. I know it's always a little um, rough when it comes to Monday mornings, uh, but thanks for joining us and um, yeah, it's going to definitely be um, one of the last weeks to focus on our trainings. We still have training until the 15th, just to let you know. Um, so uh, yeah, please come and make sure that you join the last bit of our trainings for this year. Um, and we will notify you in the new year what the plan of action is. Great, guys, just to start off with, we're just going to remind you again a wide book world is with World Leisure. Uh, with regards to our sun resorts in Mauritius, we do guarantee you the best rate. So if you can find it anywhere cheaper, we will match it and give you the value add. Uh, when it comes to the ROE, we do lock the ROE on a deposit for the sun resorts and verandas resorts. So that is a huge selling point at this moment uh, because we're not really sure what the what the value of the rent is going to do. Our agents incentive is still running, um, as you all know by now. We will go into a little bit more depth on the next slide. We do have a very very nice online booking system to quote and to book, um, and we do have our reps available to you guys to do some training or just to go through um, on a virtual um, call just to just to show you how the system works. So please reach out to us. Um, and then, yeah, we do also still affiliate ourselves with Discovery uh, on, on bookings. So these are only for certain resorts, which is the Sun Resorts in Mauritius, as well as the Shangri-La Latouche Rock and the one and only La saint -Geran. And uh, yeah, you still do get your 10% commission as an agent on the land portion only. So definitely um, do not show away those, those guys. Um, make sure you get those bookings in so you can get your commission. Then just a little bit more on the coral incentive that we um, did see obviously this year being so tough um, for our, our, our travel industry and our agents. We did think to extend the, the coral incentive. So now you have an eight, for the 18 months to work towards the stunning incentive. So it is for bookings made between the 1st of July, 2020 until 30th of June, 2022. And it's for the travel between the 1st of January, 2021 until the 30th of June, 2022. So as you can see there, it is really a, a, a very long time. And you guys um, just push as hard as you can. And at the end of the day, you will earn your corals and you will be able to uh, cash it in with World Leisure on, on a, a, your own holiday or whatever it is that you would want to, to get from us as well. And then just to remind yourselves that uh, we do have a groups and mice department. So for all those inquiries, please email the groups at wlh.co.za. Uh, we do have a weddings department as well. So please make sure to email weddings at wlh.co.za. And for any golf um, adventure packages, please make sure to phone our reservations line and they will definitely be able to share a lot of more info with you. Cool. And then um, we're just going to start off with the hotel, the Coral Strand. Um, Smart Choice Hotel in the Seychelles. So uh, this hotel is a beautiful four-star property. Um, it's located on the main island called Mahe in the Seychelles. As you can see there where the little red dot is, um, located in the, more the, the northern part of the island. The distance from the airport is about 13 kilometers, um, and that will take you approximately about 25 minutes by taxi. And um, it is a mere four and a half kilometers or 12 minute drive from the capital city, Victoria, which is really stunning because then at least you can do also a lot of things um, and move around the, the little, the beautiful island. Um, I'm going to go through the room categories a little bit more in depth. So we start off with the first uh, room category called the Coral Standard Room. So um, in, in, the, in this resort, we do have about six room types. So just to, just to start off now with the entry level. Entry level room, um, is uh, the, they do have a bathroom equipped with a shower. Um, and it's an individual bathroom with individual bathroom amenities. So there's only one shower in the bathroom. It is, has a spacious balcony with a, the, the shaded, overlooking the shaded gardens. Uh, best place for summer mornings in the Seychelles, as you can see on the pictures. 
really, really beautiful view from the roof. And um, we can accommodate two adults um, or one adult and one child in this room category. An extra bed is not available in this room. So it's um, best to just stick with two adults um, when you do quote this room category. All right, then we go over to the Coral Classic Ocean View Room. As you can see, a much better view um, than the previous room category, and that would be um, most of the difference in this room. The decoration is pretty much exactly the same. Um, it is literally just the location and the view that will differ here. So here we can take two adults as well, or one adult and one child. And the biggest thing here is that they do have an ocean view. So that is the um, sort of self-explanatory room name. Then we look at the silhouette honeymoon room, which you can already see is really, really gorgeous with um, a lot of white and blue detail, um, you know, mimicking the ocean and the cleanliness um, of the sea, as well as the little uh, red additions there for, for the honeymooners. Beautiful bathroom as well. We do have a bed in this room um, and we can only take two guests. Uh, the room is about 28 square meters and they do come with a beautiful ocean view as well. Then we go over to the superior rooms. The superior rooms also come with a king size bed. Here we can accommodate four guests in the room. Um, so they are about 48 square meters, so fairly big, almost double in size than what the entry level rooms would be. They do come with a beautiful garden or a mountain view. Um, and this room um, gives you a bedroom as well as a living room area. So you have two separate areas um, and that gives you a lot of space um, within this room. They do have private, private furnished balconies or terraces, as you can see there overlooking the beautiful gardens. So it is really a stunning, stunning room category. Then we move over to the superior ocean view room, which is obviously self-explanatory that they do have a ocean view, which is great. The guests here can be accommodated uh, is two adults and two children under 12 years old. Um, or we can take three adults and one child under 12. So that's also quite nice. We do offer you king size beds. Um, so yeah, uh, a maximum of four people can be accommodated in the room. And the room size is also just about 48 um, square meters. As mentioned, they come with a beautiful ocean view. Um, they do have a living room as well as a bedroom as well, as you can see in the picture on the uh, top right. And they do have private furnished balconies and terraces as well. I'm just going um, to... Oh, just... Sorry, can I just ask you to mute yourself, please? I'm just going to try and do it from my side. Sorry, Are you on? Why oh, your name is not showing? Sorry, um, uh, is it? Uh, let me just sort of try. And, is it Vina? Vina, yeah. Thank you for muting yourself. Thanks, man. Um, okay, guys, we're going on to the last room category. It's the penthouse. This obviously is um, a, a beautiful, beautiful room. Um, the best choice uh, for a very luxurious stay. So this is the perfect choice for a group of four people traveling together that wants a little bit more luxury. A cozy living room that is equipped with a little kitchen mate um, will surround you with exceptional comfort. So there's two separate bedrooms um, that offers one a king size bed and the other room offers you a twin bed. All right, the bathrooms are equipped with a hydro massage showers, which is a fantastic. Mm -hmm. Um, one of the bathrooms has a mini sauna as well. And um, then two spacious balconies of uh, 28 square meters overlooks the hotel's tropical gardens and endless horizons of the Indian Ocean. The penthouse suite can accommodate two adults and two children, all four adults. 
So this is really, really stunning, especially for two couples traveling together. Um, I would definitely recommend this. This is beautiful with an absolutely gorgeous view. If you look at the picture on the top left um, of the sea, really, really stunning. And that concludes the room categories, guys. So we're moving on to the restaurants. Um, so the first restaurant uh, that they do offer is called the Mahek Restaurant. Um, it is a fine dining restaurant that offers authentic Indian cuisine served in a traditional style, as well as a wide selection of vegetarian options here. So a glass wall separates the dining area from the kitchen that allows you to observe the entire cooking process which I do also find very, very interesting. And as you can see, a beautiful outdoor um, seating area as well as an indoor seating area um, that overlooks the beautiful sea. So that would be your first restaurant. Then we do have the Island Trader restaurant. This restaurant serves breakfast and dinner um, and offers a magnificent view of the Indian Ocean um, and a very relaxed atmosphere. So enjoy a scrumptious buffet breakfast, which includes selection of hot dishes, fruits and pastries. And then they do offer themed buffet dinners as well that create, um, creates, um, especially by the chefs on a daily basis, offering you international cuisine and focusing a little bit more on the Creole specialities. So this would be your buffet restaurant, um, also overlooking the sea, which is right on the beach there, as you can see, really beautiful. Then we have a third restaurant, a uh, Pescado restaurant, as you can see, absolutely gorgeous. Um, it is a fine dining restaurant that is located by the swimming pool in the heart of the Savoy Seychelles Resort and Spa um, Gardens and a stone throw away from the Coral Strand Smart Hotel. So this really does offer you a different option. This is not within, within the Coral Strand Resort, but it is a stone throw away. Um, so it, it does make you feel like you're in the same resort. This is one of the most romantic venues in Seychelles. So definitely, definitely a must visit. Uh, there is a bar that's open from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. And they do offer you an a la carte menu from 12 noon to 6 p.m. So the freshest fish and seafood that you can think of is delivered every morning to the restaurant's kitchen directly from the ocean. So definitely something to definitely go try, especially if you're on your honeymoon. Then we have the Ocean Deck Bar. Um, the legendary Ocean Deck is one of the island's first bars, which is quite iconic. It is located a stone throw away from the ocean. The menu also includes popular international dish dishes such as pastas, pizzas, sandwiches, as well as salads, and offers you a wide variety of cocktails as well. Then we do have the Coral Asia restaurant. The Coral Asia restaurant is located on the upper terrace of the Ocean Deck Bar overlooking uh, the Bio Ballon Beach. Um, so the freshest seafood, a cozy atmosphere and Indian Ocean is so near. It is very inviting um, to the taste of the Japanese cuisine that they do uh, focus on more here and enjoy the culinary chef uh, that the uh, possessed by the sushi chefs. So this is really more of a focus on seafood as well as a Japanese um, touch. So definitely, definitely worth spending some time here. And uh, yeah, if you look at that beautiful left top uh, picture, it is really beautiful um, sunset, um, sunset wise. Okay, then we look um, at uh, further options. So we do have in-room dining um, uh, for the hotel. So anytime, any day um, that you would be able to order in-room dining. This also includes the most popular international dishes such as pasta, pizza, salads, sandwiches, and desserts. And then we do have the Grand Savoy. This is located in the main building of Savoy Seychelles Resort which is also um, open to guests of the Coral Strand to be able to go and dine there. It, like I mentioned, this is, um, Savoy uh, is uh, about a stone throw away from um, the Coral, uh, Coral Strand Resort. And um, the restaurant offers you a contemporary international cuisine with a Creole touch. The elegant lounge of the restaurant opens up onto a spacious outdoor terrace overlooking the hotel's tropical gardens. And this restaurant offers you breakfast from 7 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. 
as well as dinner from 7 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. Then we do have the Gecko Bar. The Gecko Bar is one of the places on the Bill Vallon Beach where you can admire tropical sunsets with a glass of your favorite drink in hand. The bar uh, lists include signature cocktails, rum-based drinks, and various types of sangria as well. So the bar also serves custom-made paninis, sandwiches, as well as salads using the freshest ingredients. And at sunset, you can enjoy the performance of the best musicians of the island. So this is for sure where you wanna be drinking a sundown cocktail. And then I just wanted to highlight as well the swimming pools. They have two swimming pools at this resort on site. One is the large pool in front of us with the picture. And then they do have the children's pool as well. So there is no kids club at this resort, but they do uh, welcome kids at the resort. Um, hence, we do have a pool for the kids as well. So the pools are located right next to each other. So the parents can really go and enjoy and lounge right next to the pool and still be able to keep an eye on the kiddies. And that is just about it. I just lastly wanted to, to share with you guys a nice video of this resort, uh, just to give you a good um, idea of what is on offer. <laughs> share some great valuable information with you um yeah is there was there any questions that was unanswered hi linda there was um in terms of the restaurants pescado mm -hmm. and savoy those are not included in our meal plan though right no 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 checking. yeah no that would be but because it's on a different at a different resort uh, oh, but it's okay. not included yeah. in the meal plan yeah sure and then of course Annette also asking uh, yeah is the meal plan bed and breakfast um, or half board um, um, I I, I, yeah, I, the only information that I got was bed and breakfast um, at this point um, but I'm I've already asked the question and I'm still awaiting feedback so yeah. from the hotel but yeah as far as I know only bed and breakfast yeah, and then there's Linda as well going, what about the water sports? Water sports, so uh, there was there was no water sports at the resort. You can do it um, quite close by the resort. Um, but yeah, they, there was no water sports activities listed at all. So yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. I think also, yeah, because of that beautiful beach that they've got on That's there, there's it. quite a few boat houses so they can actually just explore and uh, explore, do our yeah, yeah. Otherwise, yeah, thank you very much. Water at the Bovalon Bay Beach, remember? That's yes, yeah, that beautiful. is it. That's the one. It's on there. Yes. <laughs> all right. Cool. Okay, perfect. Thank you, guys. Guys, please don't forget tomorrow we have Misha with Eden Blue Hotel, that's right? Yes. Yes, so please come and join us for Eden Bay Hotel at 10 o'clock and we'll see everybody there again. Thank you, Linda. Okay, Ciao. Thanks, guys. Bye.